Hi everyone, and welcome to one more video on the channel. As you have likely seen across so many news outlets in Canada, EQ Bank just acquired Centro Bank, which is one of the most major acquisitions in recent history across the banking sector in Canada. So in this video, we're going to be going through the acquisition, what it means for you as a Canadian banking customer, and ultimately as an investor, what we can even do about it. So EQ Bank, which is also known as Equitable Bank, holds over $45 billion in assets under management, making it one of the top 15 biggest banks in Canada. And it was originally founded in 1970 under Equitable Trust Company. Now, what differentiates EQ Bank from most of the biggest well-known banks in Canada is that it's fully digital. In other words, its presence is only online and to invest in some of their services or products, that's all fully done through the app or through the website. Concentra, on the other hand, has over $10 billion in assets under management and is a Saskatchewan-based Canadian bank that was recently rebranded into WIT. What makes EQ Bank and Concentra Bank so synergetic is that they're both digital-only banks in Canada and hence have similar infrastructures in place and very similar services that we'll get into in just a second. It is also important to note that both Concentra Bank and EQ Bank are Schedule 1 Canadian banks, meaning that they are regulated under the Federal Bank Act, hence eligible for CDIC insurance up to $100,000. EQ Bank's acquisition of Concentra was estimated to be around $500 million, making it the most significant in equitable banks' history, as well as one of the most significant in Canada's when it comes to digital banking. With this acquisition in place, EQ Bank will have over $40 billion in assets under management, making it the seventh largest in Canada, which is a very big leap uh, compared to pre-acquisition. As well, instead of operating individually and separately from Equitable Bank, Concentra, or also known as WIF, will now have all of its operations being merged into Equitable Bank's offerings. In other words, WIF Financial will not have its independent services and products as it once did, but it's all going to fall under the EQ brand. As a customer of EQ Bank, I've personally been investing into their GICs for quite some time now, as they have some of the highest interest rates available in the Canadian banking space. We see their current one-year GIC rate stands close to 5%, which is immense relative to other Canadian banks and has consistently been on top of the market when it comes to delivering on these high interest rates. Concentra, also known as with Financial, also does have very high interest rates. They're most well known for their high interest savings accounts, also known as HISAs, which have been competing neck to neck with EQ Bank. And so the two of them have for many years now offered the highest interest rates on the market for any savings account, meaning that this acquisition will give EQ Bank a lot of leverage over these high interests in the Canadian banking space. This acquisition was really a geographical play from Equitable Bank as it opened a lot of its horizons into the prairies and the west coast uh, which originally didn't have as much visibility. And with the Bank of Canada increasing rate hikes almost on a monthly basis now, you can expect the GIC and HISA rates to be high for the near future. And so if you're looking for a place to preserve your cash that you may have on hand and don't want to bear the risk of potentially investing in the stock market, I would highly recommend looking into the GICs that are offered by EQ Bank, especially if you're willing to invest in a digitally owned bank. Now, this acquisition also comes with some risks for us as Canadian banking customers. For example, now that EQ Bank has one less competitor and offers one of the highest rates in Canada for these high interest savings accounts, as it grows its presence and user base might slowly decrease what these rewards will be for the savers. So that's one thing to keep in mind. As things currently stand though, I have noticed that EQ Bank has preserved its very high interest rates or even raised them for the near-term GICs. Therefore, I am pretty optimistic, but again, it also ties back into what the decisions are for the Bank of Canada and whether or not it will keep on increasing the interest rates or eventually level off or maybe even decrease them depending on the macroeconomic conditions. I will link down below the referral to the EQ Bank website if you want to open GICs there and learn more about their products, as well as the news sources that you can learn more about for the acquisition and get some more in-depth details regarding what exactly took place. If you find this content interesting and want to learn more about, please comment down below so it also gives me a better idea of what it is that is relevant for all of you watching um, and helps me potentially tailor future content that might be of more of interest to all of you. Take care and until next time.